G'day riders, this is Mr. Kiwi Rider. And Mrs. Kiwi Rider, we're coming at you from our quarantine room here in Dunedin, New Zealand. Everything is normal and nothing has changed much here at all. We were challenged by our Canadian brother, Superman Kev 2001 on Instagram to do the seventh gear challenge. Seven questions about our motorcycling lives. Before we do that, that prompted uh, Mrs. Kiwi Rider and I to ask some questions of our own. For instance, whether we were a folder or a scruncher, with all this talk of toilet paper going on at the moment, we were, we were curious. Now, I'm a fruncher, which is a combination of folding and scrunching. I'm a scruncher. What's a frontier, you ask? Let's get on with the show. The seventh gear challenge. Now the seventh gear refers to that uh, mythical gear that exists when you're cruising along in sixth gear and you, you just absentmindedly try and shift up to another gear. And I've got to be honest and say, I do that a little bit more than I'd care to mention. Although technically I just mentioned it. Question number one. What motivated you to buy your first motorcycle? I think for me it was a realisation that if I didn't do it when I did, I would never do it. Which is about 12 years ago now. I guess for me it was around wanting to be in control and being in the, in the rider's seat and not stuck on the back. Don't shake hands! <laughs> Bump elbows instead! <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. What kind of riding do you prefer? Twisty, straight, single or group? I think anybody that watches our vlogs would see that we do a whole lot of different riding. So for me, there's merits to everything. We've got a nearby road called Three Mile Hill which is full of twisties and uh, that's just the bomb to ride so if we're out and we're going somewhere, we'll often go that way just to enjoy those twisties. I probably will say that a straight road, I, I don't enjoy as much as other riding, but hey, you know, I'm still riding. I'd rather be out there on a motorcycle on a straight road than in a car. In terms of single riding or group riding, I don't do a lot of single or solo riding because I'm either always with Mrs. Kiwi Rider uh, or we're riding with the, the Hog Club or the Tribal Nations Motorcycle Club. Man, I like it all. I guess my preference for riding is, uh, often it depends on what type of day it is, what mood I'm in. It can change up. We do a lot of group riding. Uh, we do obviously a lot of riding together. My preference is always twisties and interesting roads, but sometimes it's nice to just cruise on out in a big group and not actually have to think about where you're going. I think ultimately I do like to be able to just ride on our own together and that way we can just choose our speed and choose our roads and, and we've got a bit more control over what we're doing and where we're going. We're flush. Question number three. Favourite type of motorcycle trip? Day, weekend, or longer? I think, uh, I think in keeping with the last answer, there's merits in every single one of those. If I can only ride for 20 minutes, I'll ride for 20 minutes. But the recent trip we took to the North Island, two weeks out on the road, just riding every single day and enjoying sights that we'd never seen before, that was epic. I guess my favourite is probably maybe just a weekend trip. Sometimes a day ride doesn't feel quite long enough and those big trips are actually quite exhausting. I don't mind the really big trips if you get a chance to just rest. I'm 
touching my face so much. I'm like, <laughs> don't, don't touch your face. <laughs> anyway, where were we? Seriously, wash your hands and don't touch your face. <laughs> Question number four. What is your favorite ride or destination? Anywhere as long as I'm riding. Depends really. We're just doing a day trip. There's a cool cafe in Hamden a couple of hours away. That's a good destination. Do good pies there. Vanessa's. I'd say that in recent times, the, the coolest place that we've ridden to was actually going to Mutter Mutter to see Hobbiton. Man, that was cool. It's my favorite kind of ride. One of them is definitely Vanessa's in Hamden. Usually, I guess our favorite destination is somewhere where you can get a good feed and a good drink. My favorite ride recently is uh, the Forgotten World Highway in New oh, Zealand's yeah. North Island. That was absolutely mine and I would say our yeah, favorite ride. What an epic road. Yeah. I'm not touching my face. Question number five. What is the biggest lesson motorcycling has taught you? There's, I mean, there's so many. You know, you can go with the old cliche, you know, when you hit a curve, lean into it. When you, when you have problems, just, just push on through. Uh, biggest lesson motorcycling has taught me is that stay focused, <laughs> stay alert, stay aware, or is there some kind of teaching me something. I mean, it's, it's certainly brought you and I together closer, having this awesome, you know, interest that we both share, you know, separately and together in our own ways. I don't know, is that a lesson? I guess it's really taught me to enjoy every moment. One of the things it's taught me is what I need to enjoy life actually isn't that much because you can't pack much on a motorbike. All that fluff and those bits and pieces actually don't matter. I can jump on the motorbike with my money card and my lip gloss and I'm happy. Oh, there, there was something else actually, how important people are in our lives. We've met so many good people that have enriched our lives. Good call, yeah. So much. I realize the value of good people and good relationships yeah, yeah. and good friendships. Mm. Hand on the run, hand on the run. Question number six. Any words of wisdom for someone that's looking at getting into motorcycling? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Motorcycling isn't inherently dangerous, but it is very unforgiving to inattention. That's my words of wisdom. Don't be afraid. If, you, if it interests you, just do it. Do it. The absolute best advice I can give you at this point is buy your first bike that is not too big for you, that you can handle and manage and not too powerful and something that you can throw around and it doesn't matter if you drop it because you're gonna drop it and you're gonna make mistakes and you're gonna do dumb shit. Buy something that you feel confident on. I can't emphasize that enough. This was my first wife's. I, I, I just asked for her hand in marriage. It's quite handy. Dad's jokes, dad's jokes. We're all here for dad's jokes. Question number seven. What is your next big destination ride? Screw you, COVID-19! Screw you! We had a massive ride planned. We're not gonna tell you what it was, we can't. Because COVID-19 has struck, everything is on hold. Normal life is on hold and our big plans are all on hold. But the plans are gonna sit there until the world is semi-normal again. Who knows when that might be. Screw you, COVID-19! I'm okay. I'm okay. We're doing all right. Keep an eye out in the near future for an episode of Sporty Sports Sport Face Station with a very special guest.
Until next time, I've been Mr. Kiwi Rider. I'm still Mrs. Kiwi Rider. Everything's just as it normally is. Nothing is out of, I don't know what I'm saying, sorry. Let's start that again. <laughs> The biggest lesson motorcycling has taught me. I'm doing it again. Doing it again. Oh, yeah. We were challenged recently. <laughs> and if you haven't seen Bruce Almighty, it's a bloody fabulous film. Go watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <sighs> what motivated. <laughs> So many things. <laughs> Not coronavirus. COVID-19! No. <laughs> oh, it's under these studio lights, it's so dry.